so weird. Hi everyone! How did you enjoy your view of the Disney Skyliner? We are headed into the boardwalk. So sorry for the delay and all the craziness. Um, it just finished raining, so that's the good news. We have good news and bad news, but we'll see. I don't see. I don't even think it's bad news. We're gonna have fun no matter what. But the rain. No, well, I have my annual pass on me. I forgot my magic man and my watch. I have naked wrist. Marquita's here with me today. There she is. Um, by the way, this is new, right? Or have I just, just never up. noticed this? <laughs> like just finished putting it up five minutes ago. Five minutes ago, perfect. So this is breaking news. There's a new boardwalk sign as of five minutes ago. That's cool. So today was kind of crazy. I wanted to live stream earlier, but the rain was kind of holding me up. And then just like life, as soon as I was ready to walk out the door, some things happened. Also trying to make a thumbnail. I hope you guys enjoyed my cryptic thumbnail from earlier. Because we didn't know where we were going to live stream from. We were going to go to the parks. It was just the rain was nonstop. So we were like, all right, let's go do some, a resort. And then we were trying to figure out which resort had activities. And either... They had activities Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Monday, Tuesday, Friday. Or, yeah, they ended it, like, somewhere early in the morning, somewhere afternoon. But a lot of them ended it by, like, 3. And I was like, all right, the boardwalk at least has them a little bit later. I'm not sure. I mean, I think a lot of the resorts end around 4 or 5, their daytime activities. And they kind of switch to the nighttime stuff, which is, like, the movie Under the Stars, the campfire, trivia, dance parties, stuff like that at your resorts. So this is that weird in-between phase. It's Freaky Friday. I did big shout out to Moogle in our Discord. By the way, go check out our Discord. It's amazing. This is why I love that community because I was like, hey, everyone, I'm trying to figure out a resort. I don't have up-to-date activities from every resort. I only have a few. And because every so just for you out there who would like to know more about Disney, uh, Disney changes their activities at their resorts every month. A new calendar comes out. So that's <laughs> and they don't really post it anywhere. But Moogle sent me a uh, forum somewhere where they update, like people take pictures of their activity sign and submit them. The problem is you have to be a member. <laughs> so I go to this website, I sign up to become a member, but then I have to be approved by the moderators. So all I had was fuzzy images. So I couldn't really see anything, but I knew that in the past on rainy days, boardwalks typically one of the better resorts that have rainy day activities. So they'll add extra activities in. They might have some characters roaming around. They do a really great job here. And I'm not sure if it's just because of the boardwalk or because other people, they can send people from Swan and Dolphin and Beach and Yacht into the boardwalk. Look at this beautiful shandy. Horses. So yeah, our goal for today is let's see what we can do on a rainy day. I mean, it looks like the rain might be stopping, but we may as well as explore. So if you, any of your Disney resorts, every single one has their activity calendar. If you come here to the creepy chairs, this is the October one for the boardwalk. I even tried scanning the QR through the fuzzy images I had, it didn't work. But so yeah, they have the arcades open from eight to 10, the community hall. So this is another reason why I like to come here is that they do have activities all day long that you could just go and pay for and pick your own. But then they have unique ones, like Make Your Own Mosaic. That's cool. That's from 10 to 8. We can do that today, maybe. Um, like this, Boardwalk Beads will only be on like a Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And those are the fun ones because typically those one-day activities are a lot of fun. Ooh, there's a pickleball clinic tomorrow morning? want to do it? Oh, I kind of want to do it. I'm, that's actually perfect because I don't have to be anywhere. I have to be – well, I shouldn't say I have to. I have to be somewhere from 7 to 8, and then I, my next appointment is 11 to 12. I see we do it. All right, let's register tonight. Let's do it. I'll do this tomorrow. <laughs> but that, anyway. Either that or we skate that hourglass. Oh, wait, we can't. We have to wait. To skate we have to wait. Hourglass. I want to do that on a stream. This I can't stream because it's a clinic. I want to talk to them first about it. But I'll do it and let everyone know what it's all about. But we have to pre-register at the community hall. And at the community hall is where we could find video games, billiards, sporting equipment, grilling tools, arts and crafts, including shadow boxes, Mickey Mouse magnets, ceramics, animal banks, stencil crafts. We're doing Create your own sugar scrub? Oh, boy. All right. We're but doing first, that. first, we have to make a stop. First, let's make a stop. Where are we going? Okay. We're going to the lounge. 
I like it. The Bellevue? Oh, I should have brought my fuel rods in. Bah! Also, if you have to mail a letter, they have letter boxes here. Yeah, so nice. How's it going? Excellent. Come get a DVC here as well. Um, if you don't want to come into the hotel, when you walk in the parking lot, this is where we typically walk down these stairs and go underneath this and then walk out onto the board. Go ahead. I'm just showing things because it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Should we take a look? Let's see if I can make this work for all of you somehow. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's not gonna work at all, but it flickers, it's fun. Also, I haven't even, um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hi everyone, I didn't introduce myself, I just started jumping right in, you see? It's because I'm anxious, I had so much going on. <sighs> Happy Thursday, thank you for being here, thank you for watching, I'm Pete. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. But if you uh, haven't hit the like button yet, now is the time to do so. We would love for you to hit the like button. I'm gonna show you a little around the boardwalk. Also, we said if there's nothing a lot, like if we don't find anything we like in the community hall, we're next to the yacht and beach, we're next to the Swan and Dolphin. Here's some other fun stuff here. They have the old machines, I love this. Some souvenir coins, just in that beautiful boardwalk box. Bellevue's bumping. And then the old one. I know, it's that rainy day afternoon. Everyone just like wants to take a nap. Here's where we swap our fuel rods every time we come in. The Bellevue's open from four to 12. You can get breakfast at Trattoria Al Forno, which I still have never done. I gotta do it one day. Breakfast at Trattoria. Uh, then there's lunch and dinner options over here at the boardwalk. It's so good, what do you want? I don't know. I don't even know what's good. You can also enter the boardwalk from down here as well. Let's, so again, we used to come to the Bellevue all the time. I was here two or three times a week back in the day when I first moved here because this was a Tables in Wonderland lounge. Now, it is not, but it's still fun to hang out, but I do miss that 20% off. Here's the menu. I'm not taking your seat, I promise. <laughs> Let's see, we got some beers. We got, let's see what else we got. Are you getting the orange blossom Manhattan? Or the cold brew old fashioned? Oh. What are you gonna get? The cold brew old fashioned is good though. Where I don't even see the bourbon and berries. It's a seasonal. Oh, are there other seasonals I don't know about? Mm -hmm. Oh, we gotta see the seasonal menu. So what I like about these old radios is they work. I used to come here during the day. A lot of people know this story. I'm sorry for repeating it. But when I first moved here, I would love the fact that I lived close, so close to Disney I could come work here during the day. And the Tables of Wonderland had that 20% off and free valet parking. So I'd come here or the Poly or the Contemporary or Animal Kingdom Lodge. But when I came here during the day to work, it'd be completely empty. Because again, this place opens at 4. So I'd get here at like noon, and I'd sit at one of those two tables, like those two radios. There's one right there, and one right over there. And there's outlets against the wall. I'd pull up a chair, listen to the old tune, you know, the old timey radio with those old tunes playing. And I'd hang out, and then I knew if I got here at 12 or 1, that once the bartender showed up, I knew I put in at least three or four hours of work, and I could reward myself with a cocktail. And that was my plan. <laughs> I thought it was no shirt, no service. Ooh, what is this? Bourbon and berries. Woodford Reserve Kentucky Strayed Bourbon, black tea, orange blossom honey, blackberry and lemon. Ooh, that sounds delectable. I don't know what I should get. This radio is really bumping though. I mean. Mm -hmm. Is 
This is, I mean, I haven't been here since they, I mean, I, shit, that's not true. I come here every once in a while, but I used to be here all the time. This is my all-time favorite cocktail that they took off the menu. Oh, nice. It seems very sweet, though, with the grenadine really and the lemonade. Really? I'm sure the bourbon cuts it nicely. I don't know, I was between the pineapple mule and the sparkling yeah. hibiscus. Don't do the sparkling hibiscus. Okay, that makes my life a little bit easier. I always get nervous with the grapefruit soda because if it's too much, it's like, Ugh. It's too hibiscus-y. Okay. But Nothing it's a much. Sure. That much hibiscus-y. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's pretty. It's pretty, but it's not pretty tasty. What? It's not pretty tasty. Oh. Is that your official review? If you guys want the official reviews, you can go to, are you posting them? Not yet. I'm oh my gosh, now. come on, I can't even plug you if you're not gonna post it. I will. They also have some pretty decent high-end spirits here. I mean, they have McAllen 12, 18, 25. They have Buffalo Trace, Woodford Reserve, Uncle Nearest, 1856. Which one? I see they have what so, I like. Ooh, a couple of 20s, nice. Yes, I don't even like the headports. It's such a good Yeah, story. it's, what's the backstory? By the way, they have the 42 tequila, too. I love the Julio 42. Um, so, Uncle Nearest sir, is actually the slave that worked for uh, Jack Daniels. That no way. The recipe. Get and out of here. The deal was once the barrels went down, they put that on the wall. And then it was so popular that they... What? That is so cool. All right, I'm going to support that. But not today, because I will be <laughs> out of my mind. And I have another show to do tonight. Okay. I guess if I'm not going to do the other one, I'll try that pineapple mule. Why not? Sure. Is that what it comes with? It says it's coming with whiskey. But it has that, uh, that's the reason we got it. The Uncle Nearest. Oh, I'm so glad somebody told me this. Oh, good. We're here for you. Let's do it. So, uh, yeah, I'll do this with the Uncle Nearest small batch whiskey. The... Do you like the mug and then maybe the... Yes, so my pineapple mule, for those who want to know what it is, you got the Uncle Nearest 1884 Small Batch Whiskey, the Hella Cocktail Company Ginger Bitters, Pineapple Juice, Ginger Beer, and Mint. And Marquita is getting the Bourbon and Berries, which is Woodford Reserve, Kentucky Straight Bourbon, Black Tea, Orange Blossom Honey, Blackberry, and Lemon. I can eat one, too. So it's probably one and a half. I mean, I'm sure it's the same ratio as a regular mule. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to make it stronger, I'm game. Look at that. Beautiful. Reaching for the top shelf. I like it when I have to get on this stool. Yeah. You got to get on a stool. Then you, it must be cool. tuning in we're here at the boardwalk resort we're gonna walk around tour around we're gonna go see if we can do some arts and crafts at the community hall sign up for the pickleball clinic tomorrow morning uh and have a lot of fun to show you what to do on a rainy day here at disney if you enjoy streams like this or if you haven't done so yet please hit that like button because it really does help and it means a lot and put a smile on this big red face right here and i hope you've had a great thursday tomorrow's friday you made it to friday also once we get these cocktails i'll sit down Maybe we'll relax for a second, catch up with the chat, say hi to everybody who's here. Uh, I see we have 68 people watching, 53 likes, so be the person who puts us towards 100. We wanna hit 100 as fast as possible. I think we can do it, you know, in the first half hour, 40 minutes. That's all I'm saying. We're more than halfway there at the 15 minute mark. Let's go. We could do this, right? Come on, I have faith in us. But you gotta start a stream with a cocktail, right? It's a rainy day. It also, can I just vent for a second? 
and if you're new, I'm sorry, but you'll get to know me, is I've been very lucky and blessed that I moved to Florida as we have a, a great uh, apartment right by Disney with a beautiful screened in balcony, some palm trees, a lake outside, the sunrise comes up right in the morning right there. It's great. But they're painting and power washing our building, including our balconies. So we have been behind plastic on all of our side of the building where all of our windows are. So we have not seen the actual sunrise or daylight. It's just been gray, gray for almost two weeks. And they just started painting now and they just cut our screen store balcony. So we can't even go out on the balcony either. All the furniture had to come in. So I have all my balcony furniture from the patio in my living room. So I just feel like it's been gray outside for two weeks and it's taken a toll. And today I was like, I'm, you know, with the rain, I was like, ugh. So it just feels like you need a cocktail in the afternoon. I don't know what time it is right now, but it's a good way to start a stream too, right? I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for letting me vent. I feel better now. It's good I got that off my chest. Too late. She wants to be a gymnastics bartender. I'm here for it. That would be awesome. I mean, honestly, Vegas is calling. That would be <laughs> yeah. amazing. Absolutely. Or Disney. Or create your own original concept. Like that would be amazing too. I'll back it. Can I? Can I? Can I invest now at an early stage? <laughs> Let me, I'll be the first round of, you know, let me be the first round of funding for this new bar experience. I like yeah. it. People come down from the ceiling. Like yeah. There's All of a sudden your drink gets poured from the ceiling. You're like, what? Someone's upside down. They're on. Yeah. There's actually a bar in Vegas if your parents take you. It's actually a steakhouse. Which one? That has, if you go to the wine room. When they get your wine, they're actually on aerial, like suspensions. Yeah. yeah. Bounce to the, get you. Oh, that's they cool. They jump down to get it. I thought it was like, when you said that, I thought it was more like Mission Impossible style. Like, they come down like, uh, oh, okay, yeah, cool. Oh, like nice. That. I've seen that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. See? I don't want to get too crazy, but I have stories from uh, Spring Break in Cancun. Uh, Coco she's, Bongo she's used to have all, no, but they had aerialists in the <laughs> ceiling while you were drinking down at the table. So, like, people are, sp like... Yeah, it was it was amazing. Try it, cause you're a, you're a bourbon drinker. I, I thought you were still talking to her. I'm like, no, Marquita, that's a terrible influence. I'm like, yeah, she looks like a bourbon drinker. Yes. <laughs> Where are you guys visiting from? South Carolina. Nice. Happy birthday! 21, look at that. <laughs> She's like, hey! I just went to uh, Charleston for the first time this summer. It was very nice. I loved it. It was very, it was cool. I grew up in a, on Long Island, but I lived in Port Jeff on Long Island. It's like a very similar, like, cool walking town, but, like, yours is older with more history that's a lot bigger. But I loved it because I felt, like, at home, like, and it was small town with a lot of history. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, uh, all the food was fantastic. Uh, I'm a craft beer guy, too, so, like, we, we found some great craft breweries. It was great. I don't care. I like the honeycomb better. No. That's cool. Yeah, but look at the honey and the lemon. Ask him to give you a cube so you can taste it. Oh. <laughs> no, the honey, not the, the cocktail. Just the whole cocktail. <laughs> yeah. We didn't allow enough time. I wish we would have allowed more. It was kind of, we were doing the whole East Coast this June. Uh, we went up to New York to uh, do some stuff up there and then drive back down. So we tried to hit all like the major cities. So we, we allowed for a full day and night there, but, and it was a great time. We did, we got to see a bunch, do a bunch, but I was like, we really should like dive in. And as soon as I got back, of course, everyone's like, did you do this? Did you do that? So I have a whole laundry list of things I have to do now. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. We also spent uh, three or four days in Greenville for a wedding, which was a lot of fun. Yeah. I had a great time in Greenville. Yeah. Yeah, we loved it. We were there, like I said, I think three or four days. Uh, let me think. Yeah, Thursday through Sunday. It was, it was a great time. 
Oh, wow. Two weeks there off you go. Rock Hill. I was going to say, sounds like a fun month for the family. Thank you, Felton. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to slide out of your way really quick. Happy birthday. Thank you. All right. Here's the cocktails. If you're just tuning in, I got the pineapple mule. Which is right there. Marquita got the seasonal cocktail, which is the bourbon and berries. He's out of garnishing berries, but there it is. Uh, do you want to sit here or do you want to sit outside and people watch? Oh, is it still wet? Let me see. All right, I'll just, we'll sit inside, but you can also sit out here. It is actually, never mind. We are in a literal rainforest with this rain and humidity. It's like walking into a sponge. But you can sit out here, people on their balconies above you. You have to hang out and just people watch. They're probably going to set up the movie on the lawn a little, a little bit, in a little bit. Speaking is hard sometimes. And then Flying Fish is right on the corner to give you a little uh, perspective on where we are. But let's head back in. I don't know. So I just thought I'd double check. The magic. So while she takes some pictures, I'm going to look at some more old-timey stuff. No, it's too hot. We're staying inside. It's like the Rainforest Cafe out there. Another cool part about this place, just I'll go back in a second, but I figured I'd show it to you while she takes some pictures of our beverages, is if you walk past the Bellevue, there's an awesome little section of the, uh, the boardwalk. A lot of people never really venture to because the activities are on the other side, the main pool is on the other side. But if you walk around this building in the middle, uh, one, it's just a beautiful property, but you can find the little, um, villas or suites. I don't even know what they call them here. Maybe just standard rooms, but they all have like little front yards, which are really neat. And there's a quiet pool over there. It's so nice. Oh, it smells so good right now, but it is humid. <laughs> it is very humid. Hi, I'm using my old gimbal because... My newest one isn't working anymore, so we have to order another one. You should really invest in the gimbal stock. I don't know why it doesn't work after a certain amount of time, and I probably could just send them back. It's good. I like it. All right, let's give a little taste test here. So this doesn't extend, this is the old gimbal. So I have to order a new one. Thanks, Daniel. So we're going to be on weird angles today because the, the newest gimbal I had has the extension. This old one, this is, I think, like the three or the four uh, just angles. So now it's, you get all this face. All right, let's give it a try. Pineapple Mule here at the Bellevue Lounge. Good. I'm a fan. I always get nervous with the, what is it? This is an American whiskey? whiskey? Yeah, it's an American. It's a Tennessee. Yeah. Small batch American whiskey. <coughs> whiskey makes me frisky, but it'll only make for excellent entertainment. Tonight I'll be on the Pete McDevitt Show, making my NFL picks for the week. If anyone's into football, you want to go follow the Pete McDevitt Show, catch me on there tonight at 7. very good too. I like the hint of the, the aromas. Yeah, a little bit. And it's not too sweet, but like also like on the nose and the palate, the honey is very nice. Mike Grady in the house and says, Pete goes through gimbals like socks. Well, you know what? If you use something five days a week, then yeah, I use socks every day of the week too. Yeah. Also, I need socks. And my favorite pair of socks are now discontinued on Amazon. And I have to go find them. 
same thing, and this might be too much information for people, but I have the most amazing brand of boxer briefs for Florida. Like, everyone knows it's hot, and this is not new information. It's not inappropriate either, but like, first time I used to come down here on vacation, not the first time, many trips, was like, pack that baby powder or that Glide. These boxers that I've had for the last four years, no baby powder, no Glide, beautiful. They're amazing. They're not selling them anymore. Come on. So I have to find new ones. Anyway, should we catch up with some chats that are talking about my socks and underwear? Thanks to everybody who's watching and puts up with all this nonsense. Tomorrow will be at Epcot. It'll be a lot of fun. Hoobastank playing live at the Eat to the Beat concert series. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, we'll be doing more exploring on the Food and Wine Festival. Grabbing some food and beverage options there. Uh, hopefully we'll go on some rides as well. I'm picking up a friend at the airport uh, around, I think, 3.30, 3.45, depending on their flight. And when they get to me, dropping them off at Disney. And then as soon as I drop them off, I'm going straight to Epcot. So I'm thinking it'll probably be around 4.15ish, uh, 4.30 maybe. So tomorrow afternoon, get ready for a lot of Epcot fun. Friday night fun at Epcot. We've had a lot of Epcot streams, but, but they've really been just loading up and stacking their performers as of late. And I'm a Hoopastank fan. I like Hoopastank. Uh, for those who don't know, it's like uh, The Reason is one of their biggest songs. And the reason is you. All right, let's go back in the chat as far as we can for now and say hi to some people. Chief Lee, first one in the house. What's going on? Tomorrowland Traveler right behind Chief. By the way, big shout out to Chief Lee who made our um, Catter Day video. He did all the cats of Adventures by Carney. Took on the project himself made a video, put it together, emailed it to me, said, this is cool. I said, I love it just the way it is. I didn't do anything to it. I didn't touch it. Uh, and we did it as a Discord and Patreon exclusive. So if you're in our Discord or our Patreon, you get to see all the cats of people who uh, are part of our little Carney crew. And if you are, if you watch this, you're in there too. There's, everyone's included. We love everybody here. Also, Chief Lee put our uh, birthday calendar together. So shout out to Chief. Chief, any birthdays today? I didn't even check. I totally forgot. It's been such a busy day. Also, speaking of other people, Tomorrowland Traveler, who is the second person here in the chat, uh, amazing guy, so much fun. I got to see him. I got to see him a few times this month, which has been very nice. He came out to a bunch of the Adventure by Carney meetup events two weeks ago at this point, or a week and a half ago. And also, I got to see him. I know. Well, he was at a lot of ABC events. You didn't come to any of our ABC meetups. We did our fall meetup. We had five days of fun events. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, but also I got to see uh, him and Ms. T3, me and Lauren got to see them at Disney Springs. Also, he's an amazing guy and an amazing travel agent and another great YouTuber. So if you wanna go follow the Tomorrowland Traveler on YouTube or just go to the tomorrowlandtraveler.com, always use him when you're gonna book a trip. Or we have like six travel agents in our Discord. They're all amazing, they provide a ton of information. Go with wh whoever you want. But uh, for this conversation and because it's easy, the tomorrowlandtraveler.com. I wonder if I can. Does the Red have Uncle Nearest and get Uncle Nearest with you? I'll go with you. That's one thing I missed. So, like, I was in the beer and wine game in New York. Uh, I sold craft beer and was the head of events at a brewery. So, I had the five boroughs as my territory. I had, you know, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, the Bronx, and Manhattan. The entire, all of it was my territory for the beer as well as running all the events in our brewery. And I used to work at a vineyard on the weekends uh, for many years as well. Then my best friend at the time uh, owned a wine and liquor shop on Long Island out by the vineyards. So whenever there were like big wine tasting or liquor tasting events, he'd be like, do you wanna go? You can be my number two. I'm like, 100%. So really living the dream in your 20s, it was a ton of fun. But yeah, I love meeting with reps. I love wine tasting. Did I love tasting craft beer. Doing Diageo happy hours. Uh, Diageo was a, I used to meet with them all the time and go to their New York events. It was fantastic. All right, I'm excited to see more people. But yes, make that happen, please. We'll have to talk more about that in a second. Uh, let's we see. Went to one, we, were super late. we did. It was fun, it was so nice. <laughs> That's the thing with my schedule. It's just the crazy now. Like, not that I, I don't miss the nine to five grind. I'm very lucky and fortunate in my life where I am now. But my schedule is so crazy because I have six or seven different jobs 
on side hustles that it changes from day to day. Like tomorrow, I have to wake up at six, go somewhere from seven to eight, then I'm gonna come here for the pickleball clinic at nine, and then I have another oh, thing. Have to figure out how to you, know, do that. you sign up at the community hall, or we're gonna go there. Yeah, uh, I'll say I don't know more people. Sorry, tangents. So many tangents. We can probably walk with these. I mean, or we can do plastic. You're gonna be done in a second. I'll be done in a second. We're well, gonna wait five minutes. We'll be okay. I'll just say hi to people real quick, and then we'll go. Hi, David Long, Seabock Co, Lynette D. Good afternoon. Thanks, Lynette. Lynette says, hey, everybody, please hit the like when you come in. Thanks. Thank you, Lynette. Thanks for being you. Uh, who else do we got? It's jumping around on me. It's the same color. Yeah, it looks nice. Thank you. Let me know if you're actually going to critique and post these so I can I'm tell the people to do it. Speak. All right. If you guys want to learn more about a lot of the cocktails here at Disney and around the Orlando area, go follow Cocktails with Kita on Instagram. That's cocktails underscore with underscore Q U I T A. We got a plug I just gave. Thank you. Uh, Jordan Garrett, what's up? We love Jordan. Um, also, I want to apologize again for the late start. I know we were, I was aiming to be here at 3:30, uh, but you guys know me. Life is crazy. I really do shoot to be early. So when I post at 3:30 start time, in my head, I plan on being here at 3:10. So when we get here at four, it's like I'm 50 minutes. It's 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 brutal, but I really try. Did you post 3:30? Yeah, oh yeah, I did. That's oh, yeah. cute. Yeah. Posted it real hard. Uh, and, oh, I forgot to put it on Instagram. That's cute. Shucks. Uh, hi, Jamie Philippone. Jamie actually just asked me for brewery uh, recommendations. On our Discord, we have a channel called uh, Beards, Breweries, and Bourbon, where you can, but it's really just anything to do with drinking around Disney and the property, or like if you just that. recommendations, you yeah, you should jump in it. But uh, I have ranked all 40 breweries around the Walt Disney World area in terms of tiers. I have an A, B, C, and I would not go. So if you want a copy of this, I don't post it publicly. And ABC and I would not go, I like it. Yeah, well we also like are Adventures by Carney, so A, B, C. <laughs> so like, it makes sense. We have an A tier, a B tier, and a C tier, and then like, uh, maybe you shouldn't go to these places. Or go because you wanna see how bad they are. But new breweries are opening up soon. Celebration Brewing is opening up very soon uh, here, right? Celebration, very close to Disney. Oh, I should take a moment. Uh, I don't know if I'm talking about it now. I'm in a very good mood. But sadly, there was a, a very... Uh, we'll talk about it later. But about Celebration. Did you hear about this? The shooting at the Publix in Celebration? Yeah. Our friend was there in the Publix. Um, we picked him up last night uh, and then took him home because he lives uh, a few doors down from us. And it was wild. And it's, uh, what's crazy is he would have been outside where the shooter was shooting if he didn't just turn around and go, oh, I forgot something and went back to the aisle to he get something. He forgot something on for a reason. There's a reason. No, I mean, that's what he said. Like, God, you know, thank God. Um, all right, we'll just talk about it really quick. Celebration uh, was a town that was actually owned by the Walt Disney Company. It was supposed to be this, like, little test village of, like, uh, if there was a Disney town, this is what it would look like. They eventually became independent of Disney and did their own thing. But everyone who lives there are major Disney lovers. Though, to be honest, it's a, kind of a big deal to say you have a celebration address. Prices go way up. Like if you were in celebration, you could just add 200K to your home or apartment. It's, you're gonna make big money. The apartments are more expensive, the hose, the hose are more expensive. Oh, we, everything I have is in celebration. My hair cutter, my- Oh, we haven't uh, been on IVs lately. The I IV know, my IV, my IV lounge is there, my my Publix. So that's my our Publix, me and Lawrence Publix is there. Our supermarket, uh, my pharmacy, everything we have is in celebration. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's really sick. It's a beautiful area and it's a great town. And yeah, somebody pulled up and just started opening up fire in the parking lot. Luckily, uh, I don't know what happened or what might have deterred them, but apparently they got to a car and were able to take off before the police got there. So. From, the good news is nobody was uh, killed. There was one person who had to be taken away in an ambulance. We don't know what those injuries are. But kudos to Publix, by the way, um, because literally coming from our friends who said this, and I'm gonna keep him anonymous, is they did an amazing job, like literally pushing everyone to the back of the store into a private area, into like almost like a storage space to make sure that if someone nobody came into hurt. the store, nobody can get hurt. To the point where like he didn't even know what was going on. Someone grabbed him and said, you need to come with me right now to the back of the store escorted him to the back and then kind of told everyone what's going on. He said it was chaos they, back they there. They have a safe room. All public Yeah, like because like they said like, uh, you know, people were crying, people were very upset. 
and he said kudos to them they swept the whole store everyone from the store was literally in the back within like minutes like. and uh they cooperated the police it was closed all last night but hey it can happen anywhere so i mean listen let's take a few things away from this i put this on twitter and we'll move on and we'll go to happy thoughts and disney things but uh one you never know what's going to happen anywhere at any time so make sure you're being kind to others but also you're telling people you love them and you're just putting your your best foot forward right you don't want to have any grudges or anything like that two is I think we need to take care of uh, one another, make sure nobody falls through the cracks. Uh, what brings somebody to think it's a good idea to open up gunfire in a parking lot is crazy. So I think we have to help people out, take care of them, um, take care of yourselves. Mental health's a big thing. And we, we share one planet. We're all just here together. That's it. So that's it. I'm not going to go on a whole rant. Let's keep it fun. Let's keep it Disney. And we'll go from there. If you want more of that for me, talk to me on the Discord or something like that or privately. Anyway, let's go back to the fun here and say hi to people before we go do some crafts and sign up for pickleball caps. Uh, Queen Colleen is here in the chat. We love Colleen. Um, scrolling, there's a lot. I love all the conversation. You guys are amazing. What an amazing community. Shelly is here. What's up, Shelly? Love Shelly. Hi, Andrew, my man, Andrew. If you're also new, like, I'm still going to give you love in the chat. So you're, everyone's welcome here. It's just not a closed community. This is open. As a matter of fact, we want this to grow exponentially. So oh, everyone is welcome. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Here we go. My girl Disney cocktail girly. Yes, I just plugged somebody else. Just okay. let me know that there's a new pickle care margarita at Dawa Bar. Wait, goes. All right, Dawa Bar. We love Dawa Bar. We got Bob from Boston. We got my man Will from Staten Island. Those are my top two. There's, I can name other ones, but those are my two favorites if you ever go there. Tell them I said hi. Sorry. But a brand new drink at the Davo Bar. That's exciting. That's We're actually going to be at Animal Kingdom next week. So make sure you subscribe. You got that bell on. Hit all notifications. What's up, Katie McGinnis? And David Lung says, at least the Skyliner is running. Uh, hi, Shelby Johnson. Yeah, it's not that serious. You know, rain without lightning. It does happen here. <laughs> Mughal said I've never seen that boardwalk sign it, yeah it was brand new phenomenal brandy what's going on great to see you <laughs> reading I'm reading some of the chat hey Melvin Lee my man Mel from the uh, west coast says you gotta try that so I pronounce it gyro I don't know if it's a New York thing but he said Pete it's gyro um, tomato tomato right let's cut the whole thing off also, uh, me and Lauren were watching uh, some Food Network stuff the other day, and she was getting very upset that they kept calling it bruschetta. We call it bruschetta, and they were like, bruschetta, bruschetta, everything but bruschetta. And she was losing it. And I was like, Lauren, people have different pronunciations from around the world. Uh, and as you can see, me and Mel have a heated battle of gyro or gyro. Let us know in the chat what you call it. Thank you, Colleen, for posting the link to the Discord. If you want to join the Discord, it's completely free. It's a fun community. It... I don't make a dollar off the Discord. It's just an awesome community of fun, kind people, which is so rare on the internet. Oh, no. Taco Bell got rid of the rolled chicken tacos, and I'm sad about it. Yeah, that is sad. Considering all I have at Taco Bell is chicken, and that's the only fast food place I go to on very special occasions because I try not to do any fast food. But I gave up all fast food years ago, and the Taco Bell is like my, my, my spot. Uh, yeah, I, oh God, don't get me wrong, I would love to eat everything. I don't know if I've ever had it, I'm trying to think. I like that they serve everything 24 hours, so like I'm always going to get my, uh, what do I get? It's on the $2 menu and it's amazing because I get three of them. They got rid of my shredded chicken tacos though. I know, they get rid of all the good stuff. <laughs> David Long said, no fuel rods, no watch, no magic bands. What else do we forget? My Everything. gimbal. I'm, I'm on my backup gimbal. My mind left, left that a while ago. <laughs> Lauren is home. She's uh, Lauren likes to decompress. I do invite her out, but for me, when I'm walking out the door at 3 and she's coming in, she's like, I need time. Teachers are under a lot of stress everywhere but yeah today it was just been a crazy day and she went through a lot yesterday she was very emotional about the whole Publix thing all last night because you know like that's where she goes to shop then her 
she's a lot closer with my, my our friend. I mean, I love him too, but they talk every day. They're actually getting dinner tonight together, which is the real reason she's not here. Um, because about what happened, like they met up and they, you know, had a good cry together and everything. I gotta, you know, pretend to put this hard front on, you know, because I'm so hardcore. Blech. No, I mean, I'm I a big mush. Like, if you ate, I'm pretty sure they would have invited you. I'm a big mush. I do. Oh my god, that's not true. I eat so much food. I love to eat earlier in the day so I can work it off. <laughs> Mark Mueller, what's going on? Great to see you. All right. Steven Noon in the house. All right, we're going. Uh, Dawn, what's up, Dawn? Yeah, they used to have uh, games here, Dawn. So uh, pre-COVID, you could come in and play Yahtzee here at the Bellevue Lounge. And other board games are available as well. They should bring that back. We should. We should uh, almost caught up. I agree. Uh, Mr. Dave says, hey, crew, I missed my home resort, which this is it, the boardwalk. Uh, but he'll be back in March. Thanks for the stream, Pete. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. Jason Meckis in the house. What's going on? You don't have a review? I put the, I did my post, but I'm like, I'm so stuck on this honey note. I love it. Can you, all right, we're going to cut to you in a second because there's questions for you. And I think it, it's worth talking about again. But I'll just finish saying hi to people. Hi, little bit. Hi, Peaches P. Hi. Peaches, Peaches, Peaches. peaches, peaches, peaches. <laughs> I know, that's a good point too, right? So I was, I was venting while we were over here about how they're repainting my building. So we've been behind screens for, yeah, and it's been two weeks and they literally haven't even touched our balcony yet and they just cut the screens out because so they don't have to walk through our apartments. They told us to lock our balcony doors. They were to cut all the screens, come in, paint the balcony so they match and go out. But they haven't even touched the balcony yet. So we're gonna, it's like another two weeks. It's just been like rough. Um, especially because like, I like to go on the balcony in the morning. That's my gratitude spot, my stretching spot, my, feel good on a sad day and it just felt like it's been raining for two weeks but dawn says i don't know and a lot of people in the northeast uh especially my friends from long island where i grew up they've had rain like 18 out of the last 20 weekends Wait, so what? they literally have had rain like, like 18 out of 20 weekends crazy and the funniest like memes and stuff or things that people have sent me is like my friends or other people like going out to their backyards and be like i don't care that it's raining like swimming in the pool lounging on a lounge chair because it's just been rain all summer long uh, let's see what's going on. I know, Mel. By the way, I saw your comment about the bartender. Uh, Tomorrowland Traveler's from South Carolina. Pimento cheese heaven, Andrew says. Dawn says, my boss is from Greenville. Yeah, I, spent, I got to spend uh, a week in Greenville this year. It was fun. They were the cutest family. And the they were very cute. And the parents are encouraging her to be a bartender all the way down to, she sits at the bar it's so, so she funny. can watch it. I love that. And only at Disney can anybody under 21 sit at the bar. That is true. Hi, Crystal Coachman. Great to see you. Uh, all right, let me try to a few more people before we get moving here. Bill D in the house. Great to see Mike here. I don't know about Bomba socks. I'm happy. I like Bomba's mission that for every pair they sell, they donate a pair to uh, like someone who needs it or charity. I might have to look into Bombas, but I like my socks have to be like thin enough for this heat but thick enough where like, I don't want like my, my sneakers to ever smell. They don't, I'm gonna take a lot of pride in this. Uh, also, I like my pretty low cut, but not no show, because no shows always curl underneath and then I'm stepping on them on the arch of my foot. So it's a disaster. So it's, it might, so the, the socks brand, End One, is still around, but this cut that they made, they don't make anymore. I don't have those problems. Uh, Mars Worldwide, since what's going on from Richampton, New York, we were just talking about the Hamptons a little while ago saying how I used to work out there at a few vineyards and then well I lived out there for a summer too but yeah. Okay, it's going up. Sweet post is going up. Colleen just posted the Discord and the Patreon links here in the chat so if you didn't catch that yet you can go do that now. We're gonna go walk around the boardwalk in a second. I know so we're losing some people. If you're enjoying the stream please hit the like button uh, but I know I'm gonna go show you the boardwalk. I just wanted to say hi to the chat as fast as I could. Uh, what's going on, Lucas? Great to see you. So good afternoon. Uh, my 25th birthday is next Friday. Happy birthday, Lucas. Rebecca Dolan in the house. This is too late to be added to the birthday list. No, go jump in the Discord. Tell Chief he's got a whole calendar with the birthday list. Rebecca's March 9th. Wow, Rebecca, I will not forget your birthday. That is my father's birthday. Miss my dad. 
It's a we Pisces. Do something for him. So I just got a letter in the mail today that uh, the church I went to my entire life growing up uh, is doing a mass for him the first weekend of November, but it's the race weekend where everyone's coming here from New York. My mom will be here. Lauren's running all three races. I'm running the 5K. Uh, Who's crazy enough to run all three races? Lauren is crazy enough, and I think you are too. <laughs> a bunch of you crazies are doing it. Uh, not me. <laughs> Lauren and Marquita and others are doing the 5K on Friday, the 10K on Saturday, and the half marathon on Sunday. Yeah. I know my limits. I'm yeah, and the expo. I'm doing the five k on Friday only, and we're lucky if I get through that. Um, I'll probably live stream the live k. I might live stream it. I've done it in the past. I might do it again. Ready? Ready? Ooh, are you starting that on your own? No, that's for the five k. What is that? You have your own running club. We made one. That's cool. I know, I get it. I thought you were leaving there, but okay. I didn't want to say anything. Hi, Gail. Great to see you. Hi, you Christina Wise. ABC logo on the back and make you one. ABC Running Club. We have a bunch of runners. I mean, I'm not, so I feel so misrepresented, but there's a bunch of amazing runners here in our community. Uh, Christina Wise says, teachers are amazing, so underappreciated, underpaid, and deserve so much more and lots of attention for all they do. I agree. Chef Ricky checking in from Amelia Ion. Ben, what's going on, my man? Ben Blicklin. Uh, our Arizona dude says, hope you're doing well. Went to the D-backs Dodgers game. Celebrated a little too hard. Cold out of work, so I'm just chilling with your stream today. Love it. Shout out from uh, Arizona. Much love and go D-backs. Nice. Hi, Jason Thibodeau. Great to see you. Nico, the Greco in the house. Says, in Wisconsin, you can sit at the bar and drink with your parents as long as the bar is okay with it. Wow. I'm here for it. That's wild. Wisconsin. That is so funny. Kind of a <laughs> So I wish I could have done race weekend again this year. There's always, there's plenty more coming up. Everyone should do the springtime surprise run weekend because other things might be happening that weekend. Everyone do the run Disney surprise, okay, let's make sure springtime open. surprise, or come that weekend. Let's make sure it's open. There may be a lot going on that weekend. Um, Shelby, I don't know if you heard me earlier, but Lauren is home. Uh, she has dinner plans tonight and there's no way to get her in the car immediately as she comes home from school because she needs to decompress from being a teacher all day. Plus, her dinner plans are more important today. Bill says ABC Running Club shirts. Absolutely. I mean, I'm into it. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. You can only Brandy says, should I take Hope to Wisconsin? We should all go there. What? Tim Myler. So, yes, Brandy, take her. Uh, only the Tim Myler. The 10 Myler. Right oh, whatever. Just come that weekend. You don't have to run. The yoga, but I'm here for this. Maybe we the should yoga's available. Here. The Hakuna Matata 10 Miler and the Springtime Surprise Splash, I really want to go to. We, I think we should all go to that. The Springtime Surprise Splash is the party this year. Normally, they do their parties at Epcot. Uh, at the end of every run weekend, there's a party after hours. Normally, it's at Epcot. For the Springtime Surprise coming up in April, I believe it's the last week in April, uh, the last party is actually going to be at Typhoon Lagoon. Very exciting. So, super fun. I feel like this is the last thing at Typhoon Lagoon when I close and open. No, that should, or that might be their opening opening because I think they're going to go down January, February, March. If not sooner because we have, I mean, Blizzard's been closed forever. I don't know why. You know what I uh, did not know until this week? Is that Typhoon Lagoon is the most visited water park in North America. And you know that Blizzard Beach is number three? Of all water parks in North America, we're talking Canada. Not a lot of water parks, but I get it. Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> America. Mexico, I mean, but like, I mean, no, they have water parks. I'm just saying, but like out of all the water parks in, in all of North America, that's pretty wild. Okay. Look at you killing this. All right, I'm I'll going to go to the opera soda. and then we can get out of here. All right. Do you want to be on camera or do you want me to give it atmosphere? Atmosphere. All right. I'm working. All right, I'm into it.
Check out, check out these sweet shirts. I don't even own one of those. I have nothing well, that says ABC. come on. But he would ever wear it anyway. If he would wear it, we can go. <laughs> Brandy says, I'm scared to type in Laguna after the wedgie incident. That was crazy. If you want to hear us talk about the wedgie incident, go watch our episode, episode three of Mix It Up Monday. We talked about it right in the beginning. Is it bad that I'm already excited about Christmas? Yes, it is. It's very... <laughs> and Super Bowl? That's crazy. <laughs> Mel Lee says, uh, the Bellevue Lounge is the best Wi-Fi. They do a very good Wi-Fi here. Uh, by the way, we are only 22 likes away from 100. If you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. All right, should we go do some crafts? Something like that. Skip over Halloween. Uh, All right, you ready to get crafty? Guess what? What? Chicken butt. Two posts in. Wow, look at that. Two posts in. Looks good. I like that. All right. Great ears. Great ears. This kibble is so much heavier than the new one. This seems like so much china that could be really damaged. No, there's nothing chipped here. It doesn't go anywhere, but that is a bold move. Especially at a boardwalk, that could be a carnival game. Break the plates. Wait, why see it? <laughs> All right, I'm ready to get crafty. What are our options? Look. Well, look at the options. We got to sign up for some pickleball. Pickleball. No, it's actually pretty late for us. Nine is late. That's the problem is nine is like right in the middle of my morning. That's great that's happening. I'm not even joking. Like two days ago, I was like, I Googled Pickleball Orlando. I want to join a league or something. I had such a good time doing it in June. I haven't done it since. Yeah, but that's so far away. It's not. Oh, wait. I live on that side. Yeah. You know, uh, MK lives there. She just got an apartment there. Oh, we got some scaffolding action. It's like the arcade going to the Yeah. By the way, one of my favorite gyms is right here. They have a sauna, a steam room. They have two different temperature towels for your face. Uh, one Also, one's scented, one's not scented. A ton of awesome machines. It's a great gym. Oh, they just put this in finally. This was nothing for so long. Oh, they updated this finally. Ow! They just hit me on the shoulder. They have a croquet lawn? We should practice for the 5K. No, it's a croquet. Have you ever played croquet? Mm -hmm. I love croquet. But off with your head. Off with your head. This is so much fun. What a nice little map. It is about, as Lizzo says, it's about damn time. All right, we're heading over here. We're going to I, the community hall. We are here right now. We're gonna head this way. Oh, you, oh, you snuck up on us. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mmm. Yes. Love me some seltzer. 
leaping horse libations, the pool bar here at the boardwalk pool. They do have some of the nicest bartenders as well. I've the last three I've had have been amazing bartenders. So the thing is, if there is uh, any threat of lighting, this pool closes right away. But not only that, what's kind of crazy, they close the pool bar. Because it's so, all considered, it's all on the planet. Yeah. So they have to, I just felt bad for the bartenders. I'm like, that's going to be brutal for you guys. What? I don't. I do, just because it's not like. They make more money at the pool. They make more money at How? No, they their their tips are I feel like life. I don't see why they can't put the fence across the middle of the pool and then just rotate to the outside and have people eat outside of the pool area or drink outside of the pool area. Then it's not a pool bar. I know what I'm saying. So it's half is in, half is out. You put a fence on each side. A lot of places do that. By the way, if you want to take a walk from here to Hollywood Studios, that's the walking trail right there, straight ahead of us. You can see it right here. It's a beautiful walk over to Hollywood Studios, but this is the community hall and I hope the hall is open even though the pool area is not oh no I don't know it looks like a ghost town by the way when I said you could rent grilling equipment it's because you could host your own little barbecue right here look at that all right we're gonna go into the hall it doesn't look good but maybe they just like cast members only okay let's go this way quiet it's very very quiet whoa i don't know if we're gonna find a spot we got some ping pong we got some pool but what about the community hall open from 10 to 10 will we get lucky ho ho baby hi are you guys open can we do crafts? Yeah, but you guys have I don't know. We just want to do crafts. It was like a rainy day all day, so I was thinking about some crafts. We have lots of options. Um, how long do you guys have before you check out? For, uh, we just want to do something quick now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so then the things that we could do now would be like painting a piggy bank. Um, we have these magnets up on the wall. I feel like we should do that since it's out for any day. Right. <laughs> and then there's pixie dust necklaces, little tote bags that you can cover on. Um, and then the other one, too, the mosaics. Um, they're an option um, if you were okay with having it unbrowned. Some people will like bring it home and brown it, or other people um, are like handy with it and they'll say, oh, I'll do it myself at home. Normally, you take it when it's finished like this. This one we did this at the Coronado for those who uh, saw that stream, but I've never seen one unfinished. It looks oh, nice. nice. What is is this all about? What is this all about? Um, we have. I feel like we should do that. This oh, looks like fun. It. Oh, we have to do this. Yeah. This is this great. This is a ceramic, so it would have to come back um, in like two to three days to pick it up. I can do that. That's fine. Then yeah, you guys absolutely. We're doing it. Let's do it. We're gonna paint. It's a limited release. We like limited releases. Paint a ceramic jack o' lantern. Wall supplies last ten dollars plus tax. Love it. Look at that thing. We're going to have fun with that. I got it. We each want to do one? Yes, yes okay. please. And then I'm taking it. You guys are annual pass holders? Or yes. Cheese? I have that too if you want to see it. Oh, you're good to go. Totally fine. There, just in case. Show the camera. It's like a casino. Did you say show the camera? <laughs> like it's a casino, yeah. <laughs> If that's the case, let's, let's have fun. Oh, hey now. Okay, and how do we want to pay? I'm going to put my card. All right. 1811, those taps went. Oh, you saw. Haha. <laughs> Would you like a copy of the receipt? No, it's okay. <laughs> Unless I can tip you on it. That would be so nice, but no, thank you, though. Huh. Also, no, you're good. Stop. No. Um, also, we were wondering if we could sign up for the pickleball clinic tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Are you teaching it? Not me. We have like an actual 
actual like tennis pro pickle. Nice. Bowl I'm into it. it. I want to like we need to come back and do another mosaic. But you got to do it. No, you should do it at one of the places where they grout it for you. They grout it too. We just have to pick it up in two days. Oh. Well, okay. That's fun too. <laughs> If anyone wants to find more information regarding the recreation offerings here, you can just scan this QR code at your convenience. Okay. Let's see. The only things we need now is going to be the pickle um, the name, party size, if any children will come, and then the ring number and cell phone number. I don't know what today's 12. date is either. 12. If anyone missed it, we did a This Week in Disney History. You find out all the fun facts from October 12th. That's awesome. On my Ursula page. Is coming above us. Yeah, I'm pumped. We're going to watch on Ursula. It just feels like an unfair advantage. She's got eight arms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're in big trouble. Yeah. Oh, really? yeah. Yeah, she's got the international she's code. Got international code. Yeah. Yeah. So do I. I'm going to add mine. One. <laughs> but then I have a New York area code. Um, we will provide um, like small water bottles and towels, but if you want to bring any of your own stuff, you're more than welcome. We also have the equipment for you. Um, oh, okay. Sweet. And basically what you'll do is, um, you guys know where the tennis courts are? Yeah. So you can just show up there, um, you know, 15 minutes ahead of time, right on time, whatever you guys feel like doing, and they'll get started right away. It's super fun. Sweet. Very chill. Very Sounds relaxed. awesome. Okay. So now you guys can take a seat, and I'll bring over everything to you. Sweet. I'm Me too. I'm pumped. Right. Look at this awesome rec room. You can play a little shuffle. You can do some pin trading back here on the ice cream cart. Watch some movies on these big, plush leather couches. They got four TVs for gaming back here. It looks like they got the Wii controllers, a lot, all the gaming systems. They got the air hockey, the foosball, a Pac-Man, and a Star Wars pinball. Beanbag chairs. And the light tracers for if you have to do a stencil or something, you got the light tracer. More beanbag chairs, too. But look how much fun. Oh, this is uh, the new Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, snap. All of them, no. Uh, oh, she knows that you are coming. You can thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm prepared. Thank um, goodness. You guys can take your time kind of planning out the colors. We're getting everything ready. And then whenever either of you has a moment, you'll just fill out that highlighted information. There Thank you. Love it. What colors would you like? Let me see with that pumpkin. Obviously, I'm gonna want some oranges and some some auburns. You know, it's a fun trivia question to ask your friends. If anyone is college football people, there are four colleges that are named after colors. Like the actual name of the college is a color. Can you name all four college universities that are named after colors? Not the, not the mascot, the actual college itself. I just gave you one of them. Brown. No. That's two. Auburn, Brown. Brown is a college? Mm-hmm. Oh, Brown's an Ivy League school. I'm a big Auburn fan, but you took that one. Yep, so yep. That one's there's, there's two more left. There's four colleges that are literal colors. All right, go ahead. We're not waiting. What colors are we thinking? All right. I, know, I'm, I can tell you right away. I know what I want. I know what I want. Uh, easily these three in the corner though, because we got, need some. We need some pumpkin colors. We need some speckled. The speckled one too, very important. I, like that one. I need orange and peel. Um, I also want mine to have some age on it, but also some ripeness. So I'm thinking mm -hmm. like maybe some of these, but also yeah. some of these. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I, my, the ones I like the speckled for mm -hmm. sure. We definitely need some yellow too. You want the yellow speckled? Of course. I yeah, do. we need these two for sure. Okay. No, it's the ones that are sold out. Yeah, mm. we're out of those. Stop. Don't even. Why it. tease yourself? It just, you're better off not knowing. <laughs> you're better off not knowing. We, we should all the speckled yellow. Please. Yes, 
We need a little bit of auburn. Yeah, I think we have we have these three and these three, right? Yep. And, then the and then the green three, three perfect. Three. So the three on the end, the three on the end, and the three on the end. A little bit of dandelion. You want something else? Throw it out there. Which one's that? Dandelion. Yep, perfect. Oh. What are we watching here? Oh, boy. So we should get her legs. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Perfect. Um, and then did you want to add any of, like, the Sally colors that you were looking at? Okay, perfect. Of course, let's go for it. Have some see. I wish the girl who had done that was here so that she could be like, oh, It looked, that was a super cool pumpkin, yeah. I have a picture so you can see it. Okay, let's see. Blue, she definitely was going to be 45. My blue hand. Yeah, it looks like that looks I'm right. You have the colors, so once we start, you can kind of have the options. I like it. And then, are there any black. others you really want to do? Some we black. need a black somewhere. Oh, yeah, we should do some black. Do we need any white or off white? Yeah. Um. And I can always grab more once you guys get started, too. Do I need white? Let me think. I mean,. No, I'll just have fun with everything else. We have greens, right? Yeah. I'm going to do green. I'm going to stay with fall colors. So, okay. like, yeah. Perfect. Well, I'm going to leave this here. In case That's we awesome. Have anything or we have for reference, I'll be back. Thank you so much. Right Who was excited for some she pumpkin? Did she did. We're going to paint some ceramic pumpkins with a little lid. I'm very excited. I'm going to light this up in my house. It's like a little a spot in the middle. You put a little votive in there. This is gonna be great. I am. Um, I love arts and crafts at Disney. Um, also, what a steal. 10 bucks for this entire experience. I feel like the time we're getting and all this paint, worth way more than $10. And we have a, a pass holder discount. A pass holder discount with an accent. Uh, Brandy said croquet is a little too close to mini golf. I, it is, but it isn't because you're playing on grass. Mini golf is groomed. Grass, and you can, a lot of the time, croquet. I haven't played since I think I was 12 years old, but you create your own course. We used to do some crazy stuff, like you have to go over the garden or up a sidewalk and down a sidewalk. It gets crazy. Um, oh yeah, no, we, we did do a full resort tour of the boardwalk for those who are just tuning in. You wanna see like the whole boardwalk, full tour. We did one in July. Very extensive. We're talking like hours here, showing you every single inch of this resort. You should go check it out. To the brewery? We went to the brewery too. We went to the brewery, we went every ounce of the boardwalk, every wing, every, we did a, a full villa tour. We did this area, the brewery, all, we did everything. And then the next day we did, because we were staying here, uh, again, shout out to my, uh, my cousin Brian Carney, who gave us the room for the stream, said you better stream it. Paid for our DVC points, gave us the room. We got early access to Epcot and we did early access. And it was one of the coolest streams at Epcot. So go back and check out some old streams. July, they were good, great streams. Navy is number three, there you go. Auburn, Brown, Navy. Can anyone get the fourth school? Rebecca's excited. Um, so Syracuse, their mascot are the orange men or the orange, but that's not true. It has to be in the name of the school. We have plenty of time left in the stream for you all to figure it out. There are four colleges that literally are colors. Auburn, Brown, Navy. What is the fourth one? Good luck. But right now we're creating beautiful art. We're picking our colors. The amazing cast members are prepping it for us. And we have teal next time. I like that. We got our water. We got our different brushes. We got our top. Look at this, I like this. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get my best Bob Ross on. So we have the thin ones, I'm excited about that. We have these two medium brushes. And then I, I'm gonna call this a fan brush. How many sisters did she have? The sirens? What else is there to do in the sea? Well, I think he's okay with being like, I'll see you later, I got 18 more daughters. That's what we're doing tomorrow morning. Oh, it's gone now, but. I can't believe the background on the TV is gonna get demonetized. Dang, didn't, didn't, didn't think about that. Oops. It doesn't matter, as long as everyone's having fun. 
hitting the like button, subscribing. What? How do they not have a bar in here? Yeah. Shadow box. Shadow boxing would be cool. I want to do that too. There's a lot of cool crafts at Disney. We're going to do all of them. What? They have all the game things. You can do any game you want. You could also, oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Always cleaner in somebody else's leg. But going up there, well, that is a big mistake. This is going to be so cute. So round you, what more? Oh, good call with the greens and the browns up here. I'm going to, that's where I'm going ham up here. I don't know, I might throw in some alternative colors. Might do something fun and crazy. From me, hey. <laughs> I want to paint the inside with pumpkin seeds. I'm going to paint a pie because I love pumpkin pie. Mm -mm 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 -mm. If you like streams like this, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. We're only 15 likes away. Come on. Be, but be part of the magic. Let's push out this Disney magic to everyone else. Think about people who just search for Disney streams. And they're like, what can I do on a rainy day? Or is there anything to do at my resort on my non-park day? Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on park tickets, what if I just want to hang out at the resorts? Well, you know what? This is what you want to do. And let's make sure they can see it. Hit that like button. Let's mess with that algorithm. Did you find out about the bar? I don't know. I thought this was what you were going to go ask. <laughs> Where is the nearest bar? Oh. Nice. I was just asking. Let's let me stop first. What? Let me stop first. I know it's cute that you think you could have one and be good, but uh, it was so funny the other day. <laughs> I was taking an Irish family from the airport to Disney, and they were like, "Wow, your last name's Carney." I was like, "Yeah, we're talking about my my family's from in Ireland, and everything else." And they were like, "But you don't look that Irish, like." Um, what else are you? And I was like, well, I'm, I'm half Irish and, I'm, and then I'm a, a lot of Dutch. And they go, oh, you look way more Dutch. I go, well, I'm Dutch on the outside, but my liver is Irish. And they got a real good hit out of that. All right, sorry. No, you're fine. Have you guys ever done ceramics before? I have. Okay. Uh, I mean, as a child, I okay, guess. They the brighten up. And reference okay. What's on here. And you need I'm using both. We've got double of the speckled orange because I knew we liked that. And yes. then I did double of the jack-o'-lantern, um, just like basic orange because I figured we might use That's that. amazing. But, yeah. No, no I'm going to do all the colors. Yeah, first of all, also, isn't Halloween the basic B season? Like pumpkin spice lattes, taking pictures, and yeah, I mean, sorry. Yes, of course. <laughs> but I will rebuild these, so if you run out of colors, especially if we're doing, you know, our multiple um, quotes, just let me okay. know, and I'll come over and stuff. 43 is what's written. This one. Let us alone. Let us <laughs> alone. <laughs> I wish... Yeah. Yeah. Is there a color called Let Us Pray? Is that, like, yeah. is that possible to get Irish luck? Ooh, I need Irish like, luck too. I, like I do Irish like the luck. Irish luck. Yeah, yeah I want that like, too. Yeah, I have a we need some. We need some Irish luck in here. All right, shall we start the ponting? We shall. All right, here we go. I don't know a good angle. Let me set up this this camera the right way. I wish for the other gimbal because it has a really much better for things like this. But let's let's do it. Oh, and this music is great. Dancing. Such a good song. Such a great movie. All right. We should do a Carney Crew oh, yes. movie night. Right, there's your Irish. We should do a little watch along. We should during the pandemic watch alongs. I might have to bring that back. But we all like to start the movie at the same time and watch together. We should totally bring that back. All right. Everyone out there tell me, do you want to do a, a, a watch along? And I'll tell you what it would be the first one. I don't know what would be the first one, but there's a lot of Disney movies I have not seen. Every 
Not ever. I've seen a lot of Disney. There's a lot of movies I haven't seen, but Disney movies I'm pretty good on. But there's one that's very popular that I haven't seen. I haven't seen Encanto yet. That makes two of us. Would you want to do an Encanto watch long? Let me know. I need to watch it before the run. What? I need to watch before it. Before the run? Yeah, exactly. I know that we don't talk about Bruno. Um, we don't talk about a lot of... Well, I thought we talked about one Bruno. We don't talk about... We don't right. talk about what Jay is Bruno. number 275? Where is that? Speckle. Right here, right here. Yeah. So what you want to do is get a little paint on the brush, happy little trees, no mistakes. Happy little trees, no mistakes. I like Happy little trees, no mistakes, no mistakes. So very smart by Marquita, and I'm stealing the idea is do the inside first because it's hard to do once it's painted on the outside. Great idea, Marquita. Great I try, idea. I try. Oh, you could have I wish, a movie on repeat. I wish I had an over overhead cam. No, what's the next movie? I want to know. It is Freaky Friday. Freaky Friday. That would be tomorrow. It's Freaky Friday. We're thinking a little throwback. I'm here for it. I haven't seen it, so it's fine. So, just so you know. Also, not a musical, so it shouldn't kill our stream either. Um, it, it's a little Lindsay Lohan, of course. With, um, what's her face, right? Jamie, yeah, Jamie, Jamie Lee, Lee Curtis. Curtis. Who, by the way, can we just talk about how amazing she is? Like, what? Good for her. She, I really thought she was amazing in The Bear this last season. If you haven't seen The Bear on Hulu, it's so good. I haven't seen her latest movie either. Everyone go watch The Bear. Oh, I haven't seen uh, the one that won all the awards either. The Everything Everywhere All at Once. No, I haven't seen the one that's a ride. She has a ride? No, she's in a movie that's a ride. What's her movie that's a ride? Haunted Mansion. Oh, I saw Haunted Mansion. How did you not see Haunted Mansion? I saw it twice. It's so I know, good. I, I, it's this really cool thing called Training. I know, but I mean, it's such an iconic movie for a, a park ride. Like, that was it's like something I... Yeah, I'm stealing hers and I used all mine. They gave us too much for that reason. I, uh, I took all of mine and I'm stealing hers. Do I'm doing the entire coat. inside of my pumpkin in 275. So am I. <laughs> it's gonna look awesome when it flickers, right? You've got to figure with the speckled. Is Freaky Friday. You know what other? I haven't seen Freaky Friday, so it's the first time I'm seeing it, but I did see the Vince Vaughn one that came out like last year. Um, or two years ago. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, That's well all. played. <laughs> That's all 275? Good yeah. call. We're gonna be using so much Here that 275. Go. I, strongly, I think we should do this for Christmas too. I agree. This I feel is like fun. I like they're gonna have like a Christmas tree for Christmas. Does leaving horse libations deliver? You would. They should. they should, right? I mean, especially just for the parents watching their kids too. They can't get away, but like they just think about the revenue lost. The dads. Yeah, that's brutal. That's good. So yeah, if you're, uh, by the way, for those watching. When you come to experiences like this, you have to stay with your child if they're under 12. You can bring food and drink in, but plan ahead because you can't just leave your kid to run to the bar. Or you could just bring a toddler, uh, babysitter. Or bring a babysitter. Yeah, there's a lot of awesome babysitting companies here at Disney. Or have more than one child. 
or have an older kid, but I mean, like, that takes years of planning ahead of time before coming to Disney. I didn't realize they did, like, a Punk Rocks remix to this in the beginning of this movie. I can't see me want to know about you. You have to have seen the movie to be able to realize that. Well, I've never seen it, but, I mean, it's still fun. I don't, I don't think of Freaky Friday when I hear this music. I know the concept of the movie. This is pretty quick drying, I'm not gonna lie. You have to do more than one coat. No, I know what I'm saying. I'm, I like that it's quick drying because I can do more than one coat, but yeah, I'm... It's nice because it dries quick so I can get multiple coats on there because what I'm doing is a little base in the background. My whole pumpkin's not gonna be the speckled orange, but I want it in the background before I get crazy with my other paints. I feel like I'm a splatter paint. Oh, I make a mess. Do you think, did, did anyone out there think I didn't make a mess? Pete's gonna totally have a splatter paint. Actually, that might be cute. So does that mean she's Stacy's mom? Stacy's mom has got it going on. I'm not gonna lie to you, that song's been like so old, but I continue to play it like at random events all the time. I have a fun upbeat remix of it too. So I'm just doing my, ba my base coat in my speckled orange. So what we're looking at is this right here. Hold on. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this, please hit the like button. We are here at the boardwalk in the community hall, watching a little Freaky Friday painting some jack-o'-lanterns that were only 10 bucks, but you could also get a discount if you're an annual pass uh, holder. This is the color I'm painting with now and Marquita, so that's what we're going for. Maybe it'll be easier if I go this way because I paint with my right hand, so that way you can see what's going on. I'll go this way. By the way, you see how this got worse? People in my Discord know. Um, I tried cooking at three in the morning or two in the morning when I got home from work one That's night. That's a great idea. This was not, there was no in alcohol involved. This was dead sober, but I was trying not to make any noise for Lauren. And when I dropped a piece of bread, I went to go catch it. I caught it, but I lifted it up so fast. I had the oven on broil because I wanted to toast it real quick. And this caught the coil at 600 degrees. Ouch. So that was fun. Yeah. And then I couldn't yell either because, you know, Lauren was sleeping. So I was just like, duh, duh, duh. That nightlife, that DJ life. Yeah. She even asked, she's like, do you want food before you go? And I'm like, I don't have time, but I'm, I'm good. I probably want to eat. And then I got home. I'm you're never starving. You're starving. You're always starving when you get home from yep. late night gigs. Late night. Yeah, exactly. It was like 1 a.m. The last time I ate was, I think, noon. Four. <laughs> I told you I guys people doesn't eat. No, I eat in the mornings. I do eat in the afternoon, too. I mean, you're exaggerating. Did you see the Vince Vaughn version of this movie? Where he's like a serial killer or whatever, but it's like he switches body with a girl. So the girl essentially is like in this body of a grown man, but he's a serial killer and he's the body of a teenager. It was, I think, a Blumhouse thing last, last October. It was fun. It's weird seeing Vince Vaughn not in a comedic role, but I guess he's expanding his horizon. Okay. What is that? 216? I love that you're literally doing it all speckled. Well, speckled's my base coat, and then I'm gonna put everything else on top of it. 
I feel like speckled is a fun base coat, though. It is, right? So that way, if anything sneaks through, you get a little bit of pop pizzazz. It's you guys fun. doing okay? Doing yeah. great. Okay, Thanks. Perfect. Just making sure. Another round. I'm going to do my speckled and speckled and yellow stripe. Speckled in yellow stripe, that's fun. So is she like a punk rock kid in this? Is that why there's a lot of... She's just a punk rock kid, period. All right, I'm just curious. I mean, I like it, I'm into it, it's fun music. Halibut, mmm, yummy. This movie's making me hungry. You said the movie's making you hungry. <laughs> yeah, it's another thing you should have here. Forget, I mean, obviously we want the booze too, but. Food. Some food, deliver oh, some nice. food here. This is great. Disney's missing out on lost revenue. <laughs> there you go, I love it. I think it's weird in a voicemail, but, but good for her. She's like good for her. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got our base coat on there. <laughs> and I'm done, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna put you here for now while we paint our top and then we can get back to that. Can we get a little bit more of the speckled yellow, please? Yeah. Ooh, speckled yellow. I haven't even got into that yet. Patches. I'm so sorry. But well, you're good. Thank you. You're welcome. Give it to you just in case. Awesome. Thank you. They're looking so cute so far. I love Yeah, the speckled yellow is really nice. It's fun. The cycle in general is just, it makes it look so nice. Again. Got a little patch there. Got a little patch here where there's a little decaying. And we got this little thing coming up from the bottom. I like it. All right, what else can we do? Let's see. Where's my. 502380. 502380. There they go, right here. Sweet, thank you. Thank you. Just a one. All right. What now? All right. One over here. This is setting up the Freaky Friday. Guess he'll be on the yard tomorrow. I can't wait. Well, two days. I'll come back for the kill.
and then come back Saturday, or you want to wait till Sunday? Uh, I can't do weekends, so I'll be back Monday. <laughs> uh, I'm here for that. I have no idea if this is going to turn out the way I'm thinking it will, but if it does, it'll look really cool. But if not, happy accidents. Happy accidents. <laughs> it's still an accident. Accidents are good. Okay. I wonder if the kiln is here, if there's like just one big kiln for Disney. We have our own. You have your own? They That's don't cool. share. I like it. I know we have one, Old Key has one, and Animal Kingdom has one. That's cool. So if you didn't hear that, they have an, a kiln here. Uh, what did you say? Old Key West and Animal Kingdom Lodge? Animal Lodge yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Mommy? Mommy dearest? Mommy? This is it so this far. This is it. I mean, we went to Bellevue Lounge, oh, nice. but it was raining, so it was kind of a blah day. It is very nice. You know what it is? Uh, also, like a lot of other resorts where you're looking around, all their activities end at four, but what's nice about the community hall is mm -hmm. 10 to 10, right? Yep. I feel like, I mean, it's going to be awful for whatever cast number it is, but I feel like if I've had some drinks and it's like... That's 45. All of a sudden it's like 8.30 at night. I'm like, where can I go do some arts and crafts with a few drinks in me? This is the spot. Would like, you do this. that though? It happens a lot more than you think. Really? <laughs> That's so funny. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, hey. I think that's gonna look cool. Two different shades of uh so this and this color, I'll show you what it'll look like. Once it's fired and glazed. Yeah, once we fire and glaze glazed it. Glazed under fire. So my whole pumpkin is a speckled orange. And what I'm gonna do, I'm adding like flatter tones around it. But uh these two where I put a little streak down the side are these two here. So it's like super dark, like it was resting on its side, and then like a little bit lighter as someone moved it or it rolled over. We'll see how it comes out. And I have a little growth coming up the side too. Let's see what else we can do here. So you have a little growth coming up the side? Yeah, like this fun stuff. I want the little pumpkin that could, you know, it was kicked around the pumpkin patch. Let's see, I kinda love this. Where's this 23? This 23 is so bright. It's right here. Yeah, I got one too, you're good. Where's 23? Um, it's like the brightest orange, besides the speckled. Um, let's see. I'll save that for a sec. Well, maybe we'll do the last. I don't know. See the balance wise. This is a big over there. That's big over there. Like right over here. Balance wise. I still want to do the castle. I'll go do it again. I mean, I have my castle. I just showed it on the Mix It Up Mondays this week. That was a fun stream. It was my first arts and crafts stream ever. And I was like, I didn't even know these existed.
something that happens. Okay. Ew. Ew. Alright, I'm ready for some scuffle lunch. Alright. So now for those. Do we have any black? We do, right? Definitely. Yeah. Right. Sweet. Hmm. I don't know what to do to make this cool thing. You know, I don't want it to be too simple, but I don't want it to be too crazy. Hmm. Look at these colors. Hey, we're only four likes away from 100. If you're enjoying our little arts and crafts stream here, please hit the like button. Brand new, consider subscribing. Tomorrow will be live at Epcot for Hoobastank and Food and Wine Festival. Today was a rainy day at Disney, so we did, uh, we're doing some arts and crafts. And you can do this too if you go to the community hall here at the Boardwalk Resort. They, they also have the pool tables there. outside. Yeah, the uh, foosball, the pool is empty right now. But yeah, between That's the mosaics, idea. they got umbrellas you can paint, magnets, tote bags, uh, there's pin trading. You can come play video games. It's a great little spot during uh, a rainy day here at Walt Disney World. So that's why we're painting today, and we're doing the seasonal one with the ceramic jack-o'-lantern. You guys hanging out with me? I know, I've been really focusing here. Normally I would like make a conversation like, so what do you guys think about this? Well, tomorrow, like I said, we'll be a well, normal stream again. We'll be headed to Epcot. Hoopa Stank's performing live at the Eat to the Beat concert series. Also, we'll be doing some food and wine booths. Maybe go on Soarin' Over California. Maybe go on some other rides as well. What's your favorite food booth so far? Um, I know what your least favorite drink is. Which one is it? Remind me, because I probably blocked it out. The barbecue out. Bloody Mary. Oh, that was the everyone's worst food drink. Yeah, I forgot that existed. Um, favorite food booth, what do you think? Hmm. I don't even think about that. Actually, I have the perfect time to think. I'm gonna run to the restaurant. Is there a restaurant in here? We're gonna finish these up and I'm gonna say goodbye to you outside, but you see them before, we'll show you the after. Show you before. I like that a lot, that's super cool. We'll see them on Monday. Yes.
So just want to thank everybody for hanging out with me. I have to go be on the Pete McDevitt show tonight. I'm doing my NFL picks. So go follow Pete McDevitt show. He does Disney and sports, which I'm a big fan of. And here, if you're on this channel, we do a little bit of everything, but we are travel. And obviously we live in Orlando now. I'm a New Yorker who lives in Orlando. So we're in the theme parks all the time. So if you do a big favor, please make sure you're subscribed to get that bell on, hit all notifications. If you haven't liked this video yet, please do so. Thanks to everybody who hit the like button uh, and send us over hundred. If you're watching in the future, feel free to leave a comment. If you missed anything, come back and miss the, uh, watch the parts you missed. We have an amazing discord. The link is down below. The Patreon is uh, patreon.com backslash adventures by Carney, or you can just go search adventures by Carney on Patreon. Big shout out to all the Patreons. Thanks for all the, uh, everything you do. There wouldn't be a channel at the Patreons. Let's be real. Thanks to all the subscribers. Welcome to all the new subscribers. I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, my socials. I'm at official Carney on Instagram at your WDW guy on Twitter and adventures by Carney is the TikTok. Oh, we got a little chess over here. Quiet pool area. Hanging out the community hall here at the boardwalk. Before I go, just thanks again. I'm going to read some quick comments with Chief Jordan. David Long, thanks everybody who stuck around and hung out with us. It's just a nice little quiet night. Uh, rainy days are weird here at Disney. So I hope you enjoyed it. A little rainy day stream. And I guess I will see you real soon. Do me a favor, please. Be kind to one another. Bye-bye.